talking point and I suppose the big talk is, is is the first incidence and you know you can you can see it here you know I mean he's it is slightly mistimed but but it's only slightly I mean he just, you know Luca Farrell is, is small in stature and Ryan comes in I mean he's very much on the edge player but you know I, I would say that of of uh, of that you know there is he's very much definitely trying to get the shoulder yeah. of Luca Farrell and uh, you know uh, James Owens had judged him to be that it was it was frontal and obviously the frontal piece would would warrant yellow card uh, second one didn't lock on with Lachlan I mean he he's going for the ball but you know clearly I think there's there's very little argument on the second one that it's not a yellow card I think anyone watching the match would have no doubt that that is a second yellow card. I think interestingly, you know, maybe if, if it was reversed, I think if he got that one first, I don't think he would have got a yellow card for the second one, which meant he would have stayed in the pitch. But I think he had no choice but to give him the, the second yellow in that instance. But I mean, that's unfortunate for, for, uh, for Ryan in this instance. I mean, it's always unfortunate to see a player being, being sent off. And again, it's a big talking point. But I think that, you know, the second yellow is justified. I think there was a lot more question marks previously where maybe neither yellow card was, was justified. Yeah. But the fact that it came second. Pressure on again. Canning has it. Nice release. Cairns beautifully touched down. Should be a score at the end of this, but the angle's getting tight for Hayes. Back to Cairns again, trying to go forward, and he's ha put it into the back of the net. Red, red card for Kuzak. It could be a real turning point of the match. The defence all over the place, and that's where the goalkeeper decided to take him down. Well, Larkin is in there, so too is Seamus Harnady. He's the number 11. Referee blows the whistle. We saw a little bit of afters there. Yellow card confirmation that Henry Shefflin did in fact get that yellow card. Didn't look to be a lot in it, but there a, no. in real time there was a, definitely a, a flick on the elbow, and that's where they gave it from. The great long put by Anthony Nash. In comes Jamie Collin. And it's Henry Shefflin. That's coming in for a challenge. Yellow, it's a second yeah. yellow, and Henry Shefflin is sent off. Oh my word! Will the story of the hurling championship, every chapter, as we flick a page, something new develops. Henry Shefflin in his first championship match has been sent off for a second yellow, and this was the incident. High challenge, yes. Yeah, it's yellow card. Um, the first one, as I said, we didn't really have a clear view of it. There was a little flick earlier on in the game and two yellows and he's gone. Ball is scored in this. I shot two is Ashton and I guess the safe shot. And the match took the the black is a good shot. Ah, that's the Madrid. Oh, next point of play. Can't just fall in the lack of the hand shield. Come on, it's on. Her match took a spec card in and so. This and further to the center of Conor McCormick. Well, either team the Lord, but that was a the record brewer, Lucas Marchinde, up near the vein with Marchinde, Tinta, Egg, the Conor McCormick. Carter, Dara, Dino, the own Larkin, I guess, for on Frischach and Foot the Mason, so the Lord, 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 the but Tipperary would be reduced to 14 when Seamus Callanan was shown red after referee John Keenan consulted with the umpires. No doubt a talking point this coming Monday morning. To, to Liam Rush. I think Darren McGrath will be slightly concerned. I don't think he's many of the Watford players who, who struck out with the hurley there, but to be fair to Liam Rush, you know, he's, he's had a good game today. It's just disappointing for him that his championship ends on this note. Well, 
You can see the striking action. The first touch hasn't been great today and for some of the Clare players. This don't look as sharp as I anticipated they would. And this coming from uh, a Clare team who didn't perform all that terribly well against Cork. Great improvements were expected, but it hasn't really happened so far. But they're still only five points behind. Fodge Collins being called aside now. And uh, this will be the first card of the match. Yeah, it's it. a red card. That's a massive blow. That's a massive blow. I think it's obviously down to pulling off the helmet. I know, I think the referees have been told that if you interfere with the helmet, it's a red card. Seems a bit, a little bit harsh from what I've seen here, but we'll, we'll, we'll probably see it again here now. Here it is. Well, he... Yeah, Pull he the helmet. It's, that's yeah. exactly it. I had Absolutely, Michael. It was all going lovely for them. It seemed all over. Sharp book out to Conor Gleeson. Definitely Harry Kyo doesn't allow Ty to overlap for the for the pass from Gleeson. And they get tangled, Michael. It's fairly inconclusive. Definitely Harry Kyo, look at he stops him from making the run, first of all. Now they get tangled. The face guard does fly up off the, the helmet. We don't really know what is was it his hand there mm. from that. It's a bit inconclusive, but there was some kind of again blows his whistle this time with Cody O'Sullivan down on the ground inside that circle and uh, he's falling across it's a red card to Pat Morgan Pat Morgan has been sent off let's just see what happened again here now and there is the foul and the ball hit him in the head Pat Morgan sat in the back of the head but the ball actually hit him in the forehead that's why he went down well, what do you think? Well, I just... tries to get away, and the referee again saw him being held back. That's the second time Jack Brown has done that, and he's on a yellow card. He really is in difficulty, I think, against Liam Og McGovern. And you can hear what the crowd think here. Clear already down to 14. Yeah, it's a definite free, you know, it's, 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 a, it, it's edgy stuff there, you know, he's put the arms in around him, he's nearly the last man back, you know, to creating a, stopping a clear goal chance, you know, if that was the first card that the likelihood is, he probably could have got it, so Jack Brown is very, very lucky, and I don't think he's going to see much more action, I think Pat Donnan or, or Donald O'Donovan will, make come, uh, will come into that line very, very soon. Well, the referee's going across, as you can see, to have a word with Barry Kelly. Now, what else did Barry see that he's able to tell Johnny Ryan? The notebook uh, is out again. And the man he is going towards this time. I didn't go to anybody. All that drama. Eventually he does, and it's a yellow card, and now it is a red card for Jack Brown. A second yellow. Clearly, Johnny Ryan did not realize the yellow card at him already. Given him a second, and David Fitzgerald's team is down. To 13 players. Brendan Bogler sent off already. He questions Barry Kelly's intervention there. Shakes his head ruefully. Jack Brown's just gone. He was finding Leo McGovern too much of a hand. Carton is up on top of his back, tackling there. No, he, he can't hit the ball, he's been tackling there. Throws it up, flakes here, both of them. Now the ball breaks. He picks up his hurl again here, and you know it's a flick across here at the, at the back. Look, not much here. It's on. It's 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 on Crummy that the foul is. Two boys here are flaking. It's actually Carton's hurl that goes there. Now watch this. Crummy gets the ball up. John Joe comes in from the far side, tries to flick the ball away. Look, did the tip? He probably gets him on, on the elbow there, but the referee Colin Lyons comes over and gives a straight away. No, it's 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 definitely a, harsh. It's it's, it's, it's a tough one. There's no there's no doubt about that. But like. Um, you know, it was a big call early on, but this one, Joey, Joey is just on at this stage, Joey, Joey Ling, and comes in too late, like nearly, nearly takes his head off. There's no doubt about that one, that's a dangerous pull. He did get the ball, but look, he comes off, he's just coming in too late altogether. He's only after coming on, Pucker comes down there, and, like, there's no argument there, he has to. And Liam Dunn said after again, the sun was in his eyes. If the sun is in your eyes, you go up and you bat the ball, whatever. He pulls straight across Ryan O'Dwyer's head, made no attempt to play the ball. You watch it here, he just stands back and nowhere near the ball. That's the ball straight in past him. Terrible stroke, got the red card. But this Harry Neil, but the stock gets all to knock Billy Nolan Fenn's last long stick. Agastha Fleep fighting a shooter, Dara Fitzgibbon. I'm going to do a cursor stop there, shake his head, chat to Mark Kerkelor. I guess come a. He'll come in a mass error around us. Neil, no, I guess Fergal Horgan, that's the kind of shame where cool stick. 
نقص شافي ششن بين شارخ كمان كارت الدارك دي رخت الدارك فيتس كيفن نش شن تراكي عند خركيك اقص كركيك تزيه كيلا هاي كشتكم شاقر اول هيس تراكي كارتي ده فيتس كيفن اقص ايه تراش يمر كوما اقص ايه دمر شترنونا بيش ايه روز ارفا قن كليفا قلير اخ بولا اوان سكويل تانسون اقص ماردورز بيش ايه دين شارك الور بول شهر تيبلر ان ايلين ايه بيدر اقص ايه شن جون بلانز اقص ستريكن Striking Brian Murphy in the face there, but looked like the handle of the hurl off the ball. Well, let's have to see if we have got that because the umpires will be critical here as Sean McMahon races in. I just I was looking up the field and I saw it clearly. You saw it. I saw it clearly. Handle the hurl into the face. John Mullan could be in serious trouble. Yeah, it looks like to me. If it was seen by the umpires, he has to go. He's been called aside by Sean McMahon. Too fired up. If it's a clear striking offence, there's only one penalty. That's a red card. Did the umpire see it? Two and a half minutes into the second half. Yeah. It's red. John Milan, one of the heroes of last year, when Waterford went close, has been sent off. It's a huge blow. We just saw the tail end of that. Caught for striking Brian Murphy. And he knows himself. You can see by his expression, he, it was a rush of blood to the head, and he didn't. There was no argument from it. Well, now it because I love this county so much, you know. And it's just I'm delighted that the lads, the lads did it for the people of Waterford today. Because it's following on from Leams, you know, complimenting the free takers. I suppose the question is why, you know, it's a pity that we have to talk about free takers. But this is the first one. Um, you know, uh, Shane Bennett, and it's wild. I mean, the danger when you swing like that with one hand is that you have no control, and you know, if a fella's head goes in there, well, you can't put. It's very hard so to pull out. red. It possibly could have, but this, um, you know, a tangle of legs and falling over, and you know, there's there's no malice, there's no badness there to pull him down. Yeah, some people could say maybe he's fouling him out the field, but to, for me, that's not even related to a free. And I suppose c cute enough. I suppose he was wearing a different jersey, so it was a good spot by the ref, but. Um, you know the second one here. It's uh, you know Owen Kenny. It's a, it's a good slap in now. It's it, again. It's probably a yellow. You know it's again. There's no real badness in it. It's just I suppose a little bit rash. But uh, again, this is the same thing again. Uh, you know attempting to put in a genuine tackle, chasing a fella down, and it's disappointing because as long as I'm watching minor hurling matches in Croke Park, you know the semi-finals. Final.